Dodgers 2080 out here. Spring training 2023. It's already here, Kendall Williams. How you doing, my friend? I'm really good, man. How are you? Oh, I can't complain. I'm out here. The sun is shining after a cloudy morning here. First or second day of full workouts with the Los Angeles Dodgers. How was the off season for you? Did you get married or go to a bunch of weddings? What were you doing? Uh, no, it was great. Not too much uh, getting married or going on trips, but a lot of just like getting ready for the season, kind of decompressing, doing my thing, getting my body right, getting my mind right. But now it's time to go again. So here we are. Speaking of decompressing, I mean, is there a time period where you just don't even look at a baseball? The first two weeks of the off season are really, really just kind of like whatever I want, MIA, doing my own thing. And then after about that kind of mark, I jump right back into it and get ready to go. How long have you been out here now? I actually got here yesterday. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. All right. So welcome in. Thank you. Now, as far as spring training goes, I know a lot of times it's just kind of getting back into baseball shape, but is there anything particular that you're working on here? Uh, this offseason, the big thing for me was my slider, uh, trying to like tighten that up, throw it a little harder, um, kind of just like the consistency of it, like just make it an overall better pitch. Um, other than that, it was more just mechanical cues, kind of like smoothing things up, um, and then just being athletic, you know, being good, doing what I do good. Yeah, yeah. Now, been with the Dodgers organization now a couple years. You were uh, acquired in a trade from the Toronto Blue Jays. Not, don't, don't say anything bad about the Blue Jays, but can you compare and contrast a little bit? What are the differences that you've noticed here in your time with Los Angeles? Um, I think that they they really value people over here, um, not just like players on the field, but like if you're you have to check a lot of boxes to be to be with this organization um, and they I think they just expect a lot more from you. It's probably the biggest thing I would say, like they expect you to be on top of your stuff, doing your own thing, being a good person and being a good teammate and everything all at once. Um, and I think that a lot of other orgs don't value some of the other stuff as much as we do over here. Speaking of organiz uh, expectations, excuse me, I'm thinking about the uh, Organizations' <laughs> expectations, but the expectations for you in 2023, what are they? What can you share with us here? For me, it's just having a long, healthy year, um, doing my thing. If I'm on the field, I'm going to compete. Um, I'm a competitor, so I think as long as I stay healthy and I go out there and do my thing, then I'll be good. Well, we look forward to seeing that progression, seeing you compete here in 2023. Kendall Williams, go get them. Thank you.